The National Association of Muslim Police Officers has recently come out and said that counter-terrorism policing is Islamophobic and has called for a term, or the term, Islamist to be scrapped, claiming it unfairly stigmatises Islam. Of course they did. The chairman of the organisation, Alexander Gent, is calling for an update of counter-terrorism terminology by replacing the term Islamist with anti-Western extremist or something similar. He's also revealed that the association has concerns about the number of Muslims being referred to the counter-terrorism programme. Now, I might be wrong here, but doesn't it seem that the majority of terrorists in the UK are in fact Muslim extremists? So surely it makes sense that more Muslims are being referred to the programme. Apparently, even some Muslim police have been referred to the counter-terrorism programme prevent themselves, allegedly wrongly. Now, it's a shame how police are now facing from their own kind what they claim to be false accusations. It seems a bit like karma, although I doubt very much the police who are the victims of so-called false claims will ever learn anything from it and start treating the public with a bit more respect. The call for change was apparently raised with West Midlands Police several years ago, but fell on deaf ears, and of course it's of such concern that they've left it several years to bring it up again. One former Muslim police officer with West Midlands Police said, the use of the word Islamist to describe radicalisation or terrorism is feeding into the wrong agenda and is very offensive and insensitive. This was raised in West Midlands Police years ago when it fell on deaf ears. The majority of the Muslim members in West Midlands Police and nationally in police completely disagree with the terminology Islamist because it tarnishes the entire Muslim community by saying you're attached to terrorism, your ideology is attached to terrorism, it marginalises the Muslim community. Muslim officers and staff within the force internally try to get this message across about the terminology and try to work with the organisation to say, you need to take this into consideration. West Midlands Police use the term Islamist and it upsets the internal Muslim staff and the wider community. The use of the word in the context of a negative connotation with terrorism is the bit that's upsetting. So I wonder if the Muslim Police Association can work with the Muslim Council in the UK and ask them to stop calling people infidels. I find that offensive and insensitive. Alexander Gent said all people think about when they hear the term Islamist extremist is Islam. They need for The need for accurate and fair descriptions to terrorist incidents is key. Counter-terrorism policing needs to be mindful of the effect this has on the community, which is why correct terminology is so important. He said after the New Zealand attack in Christchurch, New Zealand police liaised with the Muslim, 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 Muslim community and when the community raised the term as an issue, they dropped the term. Within a few weeks, the police actually adopted the term faith-motivated violent extremism. One of the things we have proposed in anti-Western extremism is anti... I, 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 have, I, I have had a difficulty <laughs> formulating my words. One of the things we have proposed is anti-Western extremism because it is actually describing the ideology that is anti-West. With me thinking they were going to call, uh, uh, claim Muslims are disproportionately targeted by counter-terrorism, it shocked me to see that while 22% of referrals to the PREVENT programme were due to concerns of Islamist radicalisation, 25 were due to extreme right-wing radicalisation. In that case, I think the extreme right-wingers need to set up a campaign over their disproportionate targeting. Alexander Gent, speaking during Islamophobia Awareness Month, even said... When it comes to actual cases that go through the channel program, the percentage of so-called Islam case, Isla, Islamism cases was lower than the right-wing cases. But, you know, let's moan about it anyway, seeing as every other so-called minority group gets some attention. Now, don't get me wrong, people shouldn't be discriminated against. Well, general people anyway, but people who are identified as terrorists shouldn't have their concerns for equality noted by anybody because they simply don't give a shit about anyone themselves. People call me right wing. I don't associate myself with either side. I simply do say and believe what I think is right regardless of what others say. Should I now claim to be offended because people call me a word that apparently helps them identify what they think my political stance is? No, because I don't give a shit. After all, sticks and stones may break my bones, but it's terrorists that actually hurt me.